Hi, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd and coming by way of Esquire and a lot of other publications, too. Yesterday, we were hit with some amazing news. Martin Shkreli, a.k.a. Pharma Bro, is going to be uh, forced by court order to forfeit money and assets as a result of the fraud conviction he was hit with last year that he is currently sitting in jail for. And th this this has nothing to do with the uh, the raising of the price of that HIV treatment medication that he's originally known for. This has to do with some, you know, seedy hedge fund stuff that, uh, of course, a guy like him is involved in. Uh, so as a result, again, of this conviction, he has to forfeit some money, forfeit some assets. And we have a description of those assets down here. Uh, we have $5 million in cash in an E-Trade brokerage account that previously had secured his release bond, Shkreli's stake in the drug company Viera Pharmaceuticals, the one-of-a-kind Wu-Tang Clan album Once Upon a Time in Shaolin, the Little Wayne album The Carter Five, and a painting by Pablo Picasso. Uh, so what should have caught your ears there is the Once Upon a Time in Shaolin one-of-a-kind album. Uh, apparently, Shkreli has to give it up. Uh, I've read some places claiming he has to just basically give it back. So I, I'm not exactly sure <laughs> what's going to happen in that process. Will uh, the powers that be, uh, maybe Rizza and the clan, make the efforts to make the album open to the wider public? Uh, now that everybody's, you know, kind of unhappy about the fact that... Um, uh, uh, Martin had access to it in the first place and nobody else did. Uh, th there were a lot of fans who were pissed off about that and not happy about it, me included. Uh, so will it be made available to the wider public or will they try to sell it again as a one-of-a-kind album? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. There's a, a little funny ending paragraph over here talking about, uh, according to Martin's lawyer, uh, the record may not even be an actual Wu-Tang recording. Which, if it's not, I don't know what it would be. Um, it would be pretty fitting and hilarious if that, in fact, ended up being the case. That <laughs> it wasn't actually a, a Wu-Tang album or it was like some kind of, I don't know, hodgepodge of features and a bunch of other random crap. Like it's not actually like a, a, a formal Wu-Tang record. Uh, either way... I'm hoping we get to hear it. I'm hoping we get our ears on it outside of just like some of the uh, awful webcam live streams that Martin was doing with the uh, the album after he said, oh, yeah, I'll leak it. I'm going to leak it. No, you you were not leaking it. That was just uh, some bullshit live stream shit because you wanted attention and you, and you wanted people to watch you. That's that's gross. Nobody wants that. Nobody's interested. Uh, so I don't know, guys. I, I'm really hoping we get to listen to it. I'm really hoping we get our ears on this thing. I'm curious. Uh, I mean, the thing was uh, purchased for $2 million. Any record that is a one-of-a-kind thing and uh, is, is uh, calling for that uh, much money uh, is naturally going to pique my curiosity. So uh, I guess, I guess let's, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano forever.